Good morning. Welcome to this time of worship on this beautiful second Sunday of Advent. This is a season of preparation as we approach Christmas time so that our hearts are ready to receive this Christ child. I'm Pastor Deborah Lerner. I'm the senior pastor here at Shepherd of the Hills. And we are grateful that you've chosen to worship with us, whether you are here in the room or whether you're worshiping with us online. We hope this is a wonderful experience. They, they presented the cantata yesterday afternoon, and I can tell you it was an incredible blessing. And I know that you're going to be blessed by your time with us. If this is your very first time with us, and I know we have some first-timers here, we welcome you especially. And if there's any way that we can help you find your way, please ask one of us and uh, let us be hospitable and help you find your way here. We do invite newcomers to stop by our Information and Welcome Center, which is outside and just across the way. I'm looking right at it, so if you go out those doors, you'll be looking at it. And pick up a little um, welcome gift. This is just a thank you for coming, and we we'll hope you'll take it home and remember us by it, and that it'll be a sweet, sweet memory. It is helpful to us if you fill out the connection cards uh, that you were given as you came in. If they're kind of tucked down in all those papers. There's a lot of papers today, so you may have to look for it a little bit. Fill it out, and then as you exit later on, place it into the box to the right of the door. Each week we highlight an area of ministry so you know where your gifts are being used. And what could we highlight today but the, the area of our music ministry? as they bring us the blessing of this choir cantata. Every week we're blessed by the ministry of Bill Moore on Saturday, who accompanies and leads that service on Sundays. Ken Gutenberger, our music director, leads an informal praise service. Bill is a part of that band, and as is Kendra. On Sundays at 10 here, we enjoy our choir every week. Our Bill Choir comes about once a month. And for all of that, we just say thank you. Music is the language of the heart. And it reaches deep places in our spirits and brings healing and blessing and wholeness. We thank you for your gifts, which undergird our music ministry, touching the hearts and lives of persons in person and many who live stream and many who watch the services later. You're always touching more lives than you realize. As we gather, our prayer is always that your needs will be met. Maybe you need hope. Maybe you need joy. Maybe you need comfort. God knows what you need, and God cares about what you need. And we believe that those things can be given to you, partly by the people in the pews, because we do that for each other. Ultimately, all of that goodness and grace comes from the risen Christ. He is the host of our worship. He is the one who called you here. And our prayer would be that you experience that living presence in a wonderful way as we worship today. We begin every service reminding ourselves what God thinks about us from the first chapter of Ephesians. I invite you to remind yourself now, I am chosen. I am blessed. And I am loved. And that's true for all these folks around you. So as you're comfortable, would you rise and put a big smile on your face and say to somebody near you, you are chosen. You are blessed. And you are loved. Since you're standing, greet them and say, we're glad you're here, too. And before you sit, would you take a moment to greet uh, our online guests by looking at that camera on that wall, raising your hand and saying, you are chosen, you are blessed, and you are loved. You may be seated. Our mission candle, which is in a strange place today, it's way over there, shines in celebration of Judy Perry's birthday on Wednesday, December the 13th from Lou Gehring. Judy, I don't know whether you're here or not, but happy birthday, Judy. And now we invite our our orchestra to lead us in our prelude.
morning, church. As you are comfortable, please rise and join us in our call to worship. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord in that day and shall be my people, and I will dwell in your midst. Please remain standing as we sing our opening song, hymn number 234, and we will sing verses 1, 2, 3, and 6. standing and join me in the opening prayer, which is also on the screen. Eternal God, in your providence, you made all ages a preparation for the kingdom of your Son. Make ready our hearts for the brightness and the fullness of your blessing. 
In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. One of the ways we prepare our hearts in this season of waiting is through the lighting of candles. Every week we add one more candle until all are lit and we celebrate Christ's birthday. I invite Karen and Bob Biosh to come and lead us in the lighting of the second candle. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. We light this candle as a symbol of Christ the way. May the word sent from God through the prophets lead us to the way of salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. We are grateful to all who have contributed jeans and t-shirts for the children at the Dysart Community Center. Behind me here in the choir area, you will see some bags, Christmas bags, that have been provided by many of you. The missions committee has come together to be able to give the opportunity for many of us to bring these gifts. And today we're going to be offering them so that we would bless them as they are going to be delivered tomorrow to the uh, Dysard Community Center. If you would like, we invite you to come to the rail here with me. And otherwise, if you remain in your seat, just stretch your hand forward this way as we would offer a prayer blessing these gifts. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the tokens that have been brought by the kind hearts of many men and women in this church and in this community. We pray that you bless these gifts, that they would bring joy, comfort, and peace to the many children that would be receiving them. We pray that you continue to use us as your instruments to be able to give gifts to those that are perhaps suffering, struggling to try to have a joyful Christmas. In the name of Christ, we pray for your blessing. Amen. While the world lies frozen beneath the chilling breath of winter, a spotless rose blooms. Against the harsh surroundings, its beauty unfolds, one petal at a time. The winter rose is born so that the garden might be restored.
The Holy One of Israel says, The rain and the snow come down from heaven. They water the earth, causing it to bud and flourish. In the cold of winter, you will be like a well-watered garden. Your Redeemer, the Rose of Sharon, will come to Zion. Blessed are all who wait for him. Every valley will be lifted high and every mountain made low. Spring will drive winter away and the garden will, re re will rejoice. Like the rose, it will burst into bloom and the glory of the Lord. The splendor of God will be revealed.
frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone, long, long ago.
fragile infant entrusted to Mary and Joseph is the promised one. With wonder, the couple ponders their sacred charge. of Jesus is replete with contrast. The Christ child, sent from the riches of heaven, is born into the household of a poor carpenter. Though he possesses the universe, no one grants him shelter, and he is laid in a manger. The bread of life laid to sleep in a feeding trough. And although he was long awaited, his birth would go unnoticed were it not for a chorus of angels rousing shepherds from their slumber. Terrified at first, the shepherds are awestruck by the sight and sound of these heavenly beings.
Against a backdrop of dazzling light, their unearthly singing is a call to joy, their wings stirring up an infectious rhythm. Captivated by the song, the shepherds are led in a jubilant rush toward the stable. Unexpectedly, these tenders of sheep dance into the very presence of God's own lamb. Follow the light, bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But the child they seek is more precious and more fragrant than these. He is the winter rose, God's gift to the world.
the rose continues to blossom, its splendor revealed to all who embrace it. Spotless and perfect, its beauty is beyond compare. But all too soon, its season passes, and the rose prepares to die. The rose, adorned with thorns, stands in full bloom. One by one, the petals fall, blood red upon the ground. As they are crushed beneath the feet of the crowd, the fragrance of redemption is released.
Lo, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Once more, the winter rose blooms in the fertile soil of our souls. The Spirit is poured upon us from on high, its fragrance filling our hearts. The garden has been restored. Be joyful. The season for singing has come. Ken Gutenberger. What a wonderful, wonderful blessing. Are you blessed? Are you ready for Christmas? This was the thing that got my heart singing yesterday, and I've been singing these songs ever since we rehearsed them on Friday. What a thank you for this beautiful, beautiful gift. Thanks to all of you. Yes. And thanks to all of you for being here with us and filling up the room with your voices. It's wonderful to sing when the room is full. Thank you for being here. I just have a few things to point out to you. Um, if you're a newcomer, do stop by the welcome table and pick up one of those bags that you can take home with you. Uh, if you're new to Shepherd, uh, there is going to be a newcomer's lunch tomorrow. And if you haven't signed up and you want to come, would you just come tell me so that we can have enough food for you? That's, uh, well, you're perfectly welcome to sign up today. I just need to know today. In your announcements, you will find an invitation to our Christmas Eve services. Please use this to invite someone to come with you on Christmas Eve. People need and want a place to go on Christmas Help them find it and help them find it here because this will be a beautiful place and there will be beautiful music and the story of Jesus. Bring them with you as you come on Christmas Eve. If you're doing a poinsettia order, it needs to be in today. And if you want to come to the Royal Renaissance Singers Friday, December 22nd, there are tickets in the office available this week. Our prayer minister will be available at the end of the pew for those desiring personal prayer ministry after the service. And now receive a different kind of blessing. This was a blessing. And here is a different kind of blessing. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ 
and the love of God and the communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Do join us in the Fellowship Hall for a time of, of refreshments and visiting.